And what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to more Mass Effect. I forwarded Effect. the mission update to the Citadel, Commander. We got confirmation oh, on those crap. reinforcements. Ambassador Udino wants us to report back to the Citadel. The Council's massing a joint species fleet to deal with Saren and his Geth. Took them long enough. Back to the Citadel, Joker. I want the Normandy at the head of that fleet. Yes, ma'am. So I shouldn't be doing this. Uh, I'm going to try and play through the rest of this game in this, in this video. Doing the best we can here. Let's see how that turns out. Quite a bit of stuff to do, so let's do it. Good job, Shepard. Thanks to you, the Council's finally taking real action against Saren. The Ambassador is correct. If Saren is foolish enough to attack the Citadel, as you believe, we will be ready for him. Patrols are stationed at every mass relay linking Citadel space to the Terminus systems. You think a blockade's gonna stop him? He's on Ilos looking for the conduit right now. What are you doing about that? Ilos is only accessible through the Mule Relay, deep inside the Terminus Systems, Commander. If we send a fleet in there, the only possible outcome is full-scale war. <laughs> now is the time for discretion, Commander. Saren's greatest weapon was secrecy. Exposed, he is no longer a threat. This is over. Hmm. Send me. One ship going into the Terminus Systems won't start a war. I can be discreet. You detonated a nuclear device on Vermeer. I wouldn't call that discreet. Your style served you well in the Traverse, Commander. We recognize that. But Ilos requires a deft touch. We have the situation under control. The conduit. Secrecy isn't his greatest weapon. The conduit is. Saren is a master manipulator. The conduit is just a distraction from his real plan to attack the Citadel. The Reapers? Sovereign's the real threat. Saren's just a servant of the Reapers. Only you have seen the Reapers. And then only in visions. We won't invade the Terminus systems because of a dream. If Saren finds the conduit, we're all screwed. We have to go to Ilos. Ambassador Udina, I get the sense Commander Shepard isn't willing to let <laughs> this go. There are serious political implications here, Shepard. Humanity's made great gains thanks to you, but now you're becoming more trouble than you're worth. You bastard! You're selling us out! It's just politics, Commander. You've done your job, now let me do mine. We've locked out all the Normandy's primary systems until for the notice you're grounded. Of course I am. Nobody stabs me in the back, Udina. Nobody. I think it's time for you and your team to leave, Commander. This no longer concerns you. The Council can handle this, with my help, of course. Commander, I've got a message from Captain Anderson. I get it. What did he want? Only said to meet him in that club in the wards. Flux. All right. And we will bring uh, Ashley and Liara, I guess. Doesn't really matter. Yep, except. Equalizing interior pressure oh God, with exterior atmosphere. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. So I will be running through this as quick as possible. Um, I kind of wish I could avoid cutscenes and everything. I could, but. I'd rather not. So, we'll run through this as quickly as we can and see if we can't beat this in, in relatively an hour. Um, Reporter like to... Kalisa Algelani recently attempted to land an interview with Commander Shepard, the first human Spectre. Unfortunately, Shepard refused to answer questions, raising concerns regarding the Spectre's commitment to humanity. We'll have exclusive footage later today. Uh huh. All right, good timing. My friend's finally going back to sleep, <laughs> so I can. I don't have to worry about texting anymore. I can play the game. 
I figured, uh, well, a lot of this is cutscene, so, you know, texting wasn't really an issue. And I don't even know where I'm supposed to be going right now. Um, right at that club. Uh, Wars locations. Fox. I am trying to remember where to go, so. I'm gonna take a second. Actually, I might have already. Should be careful who you say that around. It's out of my hands, Rita. I'm glad you came, Shepard. I heard what happened. You had to know what was going to happen. Why didn't you warn me? I tried. The ambassador wouldn't let me get a message through before you docked. I know you're pissed off right now, but you can't give up. They all think this is over, but we both know it's not. You have to go to Ilos. You have to stop Saren from using the conduit. There's only one ship that can get me into the Terminus systems undetected, and she's grounded. Citadel Controls locked out all the Normandy's systems, but if we override the Ambassador's orders, we can get them to bring the Normandy back online. You can be in the Terminus systems before anyone even knows you're gone. What's the plan? I can unlock the Normandy from one of the consoles in the Citadel Control Center. You'll have a few minutes before anyone realizes what happened. That is a restricted area patrolled by armed guards. How are you going to get in? Leave that to me. Just make sure you're in the Normandy when the systems come back online. There's got to be a better way. Ambassador Udina issued the lockdown order. If I can hack into the computer in his office, maybe I can override it. He's not going to let you waltz into his office and use his computer. Hopefully he won't be there. If he is, I'll just have to think of something. <laughs> Udina won't let this slide, Captain. You'll be charged with treason, a capital offense. We don't have a lot of options. I break into the Ambassador's computer. Or I take my chances with the patrols in Citadel Control. Break into his office. Obviously. You'll have a better chance if you go after the Ambassador's computer. I was hoping you'd say that. The Ambassador has made this personal. <laughs> you ready to get the hell off this station, Commander? I am. Let's do it. I'll take care of the lockdown. You get down to the Normandy and tell Joker to stand by. Alright. So, back to the Normandy. Get out of my way. Now you got the way too. What's up? What's up? Uh, pardon me, soldier. Could I take a moment of your time? Only if I can shoot you in the face afterwards. Uh, wards, I believe. C sec. There we go. So I know what time I started this at. Just gotta beat that time. Shouldn't be too difficult. Um. Uh, the, the the ability to one shot everything really helps out. It's really just the load times and the walking around that's going to be slow as hell. In breaking news, Chairman Burns of the Parliament Subcommittee on Transhuman Studies has been kidnapped by biotic extremists. Oh, no. The biotics commandeered a freighter and were last seen in the Hades Gamma Cluster. No demands have yet been made. They're all dead, shot in the face. You know, I, I can't. I can't imagine someone playing through this game, these games anymore, as a, as a good guy. It's just so weird. You know, I put it on, when I played on the uh, 360. You know, I had, got the uh, the whole trilogy there. Um, like I was just a complete douche. Like just fuck everybody. <laughs> and it's just so much fun, especially in especially the you know in two and three. But I mean, like there's a scene. Uh, where you, where there's a guy, there's a soldier that's near uh, some windows. And, Stand by, shore party. And he's like, I'm not gonna tell you anything. Contamination and you just in end up kicking him out of the window. It's awesome. This bitch I won't stop talking. So, oh hey, look at that. It's quick, finally. Kind of. There we go. Anderson, what are you doing here? I didn't send. <laughs> Let's go. Get us out of here, Joker. Now. So I hear for the blows apart. 
gotta love Joker. I can say this now, I'm so excited that Joker survived through all the games. I'll tell you now, my first thought was if he died in 2 or 3, I wasn't getting the game. That was, <laughs> was easily a deal breaker. Uh, when I was looking ahead, I was like, okay, let's see Mass Effect 2, okay, Joker's there now. Then I check Mass Effect 3, I'm like, okay, if he's not here, then I won't even bother with it, but he survives, I was happy, I couldn't wish for more, really. Alright, this is quick. So, get out of there, get out of there, and head to Ilos. Yes. Off we go. favorite places, but... Uh, Commander, we've got company. Have their sensors picked us up yet? Well, stealth systems are engaged. Unless we get close enough for a visual, they won't have any idea we're here. Picking up some strange readings from the planet's surface. Take us down, Joker. Lock in on the coordinates. Random guy tells Negative us. Negative on that, Commander. The nearest landing zone's two clicks oh, away. Especially. We'll never make it in time on foot. Get us something closer. There is nowhere closer. I've looked. Drop us in the Mako. You need at least a hundred meters of open terrain to pull off a drop like that. The most I can find near Saren is twenty. Twenty meters? No way we can make a drop in there. We have to try. Find another landing zone! There is no other landing zone! <laughs> the descent angle's too steep. It's our only option. It's not an option. It's a suicide run. We don't... I can do it. Joker? I can do it. Gear up and head down to the Mako. Joker, drop us right on top of that bastard. All right. Um. Actually, only Ara. Sure, why not? Actually. Yeah, fuck it. Try and do this quick. Doesn't really matter who's on my team, but yeah. So we can't do anything in the Mako here. We uh We have to get inside this bunker before Saren finds the conduit. I know, thank you. There is no way we're getting past that door with brute force. Saren found a way to open it. There must be some kind of security override somewhere in this complex. We will have to find some way to get it up and running constantly. again. Is it gone now, please? No, it's not. It's slightly annoying. Uh Use your awesome gun, please. Thank you. This sounds really starting to bug me. Please go away. Die. 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 I assume the sound's supposed to be part of the game. It's just weird. Look at that beauty. Everything dies. This sounds gonna piss me off real quick. Say failed, huh? Ow. Oh, eyeball, eyeball, not good. Give me a second, guys. Okay, we should be good. Let's head out. 
bad moment there. You're dead. I wonder if you guys can hear that too, just boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom. It's just annoying. Yeah, for two second sprint. sound. Can't open that just yet. Where am I supposed to be going right now? Ha. Huh. Right? Yep, okay. Hey, the sound stopped. Yay! Yep, it is this way. Boy, I can sprint! Urgh. It's starting to piss me off. I want to sprint, damn it. Give me the sprint. Ah, uh, let's go this way. Now it gets fun! Eh, it gets okay. It's not too bad. <laughs> Wouldn't say All fun, clear. I'd say not dull. Yeah, that just goes up there, so we don't want to bother with it. See, I'll clear my ass. So my stuff's still jammed, it's not clear in any way. There we go. Oh, and the long elevator ride down, of course. This place still has power. It must be running off its own generator. More magic. This must be the command center for the entire complex. Saren's troops must have sealed the doors from here after he went inside. We will have to figure out how to disengage the security lockdown if we ever want to get inside that bunker. Yes, thank you, I know. Is that always how things work? Now it gets fun. Yeah, fun. It's one word for it, I guess. Why aren't you dying? Took you a second there, but you got the you got a handle Negative on it. Contact, Shepard. Joyous. All right, up we go. Come, Saren already has a head start. We have to go find him before he reaches the conduit. Unless he's already found it, then we're just walking into a trap. That is a chance we will have to take. <laughs> Hold on, something's happening. <laughs> Too late. Unable to invading fleets. No escape. Sounds like some kind of message, but I don't recognize the language. It is probably in Prothean. This recording must be 50,000 years old. No wonder we cannot understand it. The message is all broken up, but I recognize some of the words. It's a warning against the Reaper invasion. Of course. Between the beacons and the cipher, an understanding of the Prothean language would have been transferred into your mind. Yay. Not safe. Seek refuge. Inside the archives. 
What's it saying? Can you make out anything useful? Old Reapers. The Citadel. Overwhelmed. Only hope. Act of desperation. The conduit. All is lost. It said something about the conduit, but it's too degraded to help. We should go. Yep. Cannot be stopped. Cannot be stopped. Oh, I disagree. And into the hole we go. Yay, no elevator. Go us. I think I was supposed to do something down there. If I did, I'll have to go back. I don't want to do that. Really don't want to do that. Oh crap, the sound's back. Did I even open the door? I feel like I did. We'll find out soon, I guess. Yeah, hey, what the hell? Alright, I, I messed something up. I'll be right back. Okay. Good idea. Yeah, I didn't miss anything. I just had to drive. I just had to go forward. My bad. Oh well. I think it was best to I have sure. spent my life studying the Protheans, but I never dreamed I would discover anything like this. This bunker might have been the last refuge of their entire species. Just imagine what mysteries it might hold. Imagine what secrets it might reveal. Hey, try to remember why we're here. Saren, the Conduit, the fate of the entire known galaxy. I am sorry. I was swept up in the moment. I just... What are all those things on the wall? Some kind of containers? They look like stasis pods. The Protheans probably tried to keep themselves alive. <laughs> Driving too fast for them to even talk. I like that. There we go. Don't even bother them to drive forward. Yeah, we're actually near the end. Pretty close here. What is happening? It's a trap! Saren must have set an ambush. I do not think Saren is behind this. Probably not. I would say another 10 to 15 minutes with cutscenes. Maybe. I, still pushing it? I have studied the Protheans for decades, but I have never felt this sense of foreboding. What will we find down there? I'm not putting faith in anybody being on our side. Not anymore. Well, you shouldn't. You are not Prothean, but you are not machine either. This eventuality was one of many that was anticipated. This is why we sent our warning through the beacons. Looks like some kind of VI program. Pretty badly damaged. I do not sense the taint of indoctrination upon any of you. Unlike the other that passed recently, perhaps there is still hope. This is incredible. An actual Prothean VI, and I can understand it. I have been monitoring your communication since you arrived at this facility. I have translated my output into a format you will comprehend. My name is Vigil. You are safe here for the moment, but that is likely to change. Soon, nowhere will be safe. Saren could be at the conduit right now. We have to go. You seek to end a cycle that has continued for millions of years. To stop it, you must first understand it, or you will make the same mistakes we did. 
The Citadel is the heart of your civilization and the seat of government, as it was with us and as it has been with every civilization that came before us. But the Citadel is a trap. The station is actually an enormous mass relay, one that links to dark space, the empty void beyond the galaxy's horizon. When the Citadel relay is activated, the Reapers will pour through, and all you know will be destroyed. The Reapers can wipe out the Council and the entire Citadel fleet in a single surprise attack! That was our fate. Our leaders were dead before we even realized we were under attack. The Reapers seized control of the Citadel, and through it, the mass relays. Communication and transportation across our Empire were crippled. Each star system was isolated, cut off from the others. Easy prey for the Reaper fleets. Over the next decades, the Reapers systematically obliterated our people. World by world, system by system, they methodically wiped us out. Decades? Damn. Some of you must have managed to survive. Through the Citadel, the Reapers had access to all our records, maps, census data. Information is power, and they knew everything about us. Their fleets advanced across every settled region of the galaxy. Some worlds were utterly destroyed. Others were conquered, their populations enslaved. These indoctrinated servants became sleeper agents under Reaper control. Taken in as refugees by other Protheans, they betrayed them to the machines. Within a few centuries, the Reapers had killed or enslaved every Prothean in the galaxy. They were relentless, brutal, and absolutely thorough. You said you brought me here for a reason. Tell me what I need to do. The conduit is the key. Before the Reapers attacked, we Protheans were on the cusp of unlocking the mysteries behind mass relay technology. Ilos was a top secret facility. Here, researchers worked to create a small scale version of a mass relay. One that linked directly to the Citadel, the hub of the Relay Network. The Conduit is not a weapon. It is a backdoor onto the Citadel. What happened next? We severed all communication with the outside, and our facility went dark. The personnel retreated underground into these archives. To conserve resources, everyone was put into cryogenic stasis. I was programmed to monitor the facility and wake the staff when the danger had passed. But the genocide of an entire species is a long, slow process. Years passed. Decades. Centuries. The Reapers persisted. And my energy reserves were dwindling. You should have fought. We were a few hundred against a galactic invasion fleet. Our only hope was to remain undetected. I began to disable the life support of non-essential personnel. First support staff, then security. One by one, their pods were shut down to conserve energy. Eventually, only the stasis pods of the top scientists remained active. Even these were in danger of failing when the Reapers finally retreated back through the Citadel relay. There were hundreds of stasis pods out there. You just shut them down? You killed them? He couldn't let everyone die. Better to sacrifice some so others could live. This outcome was not completely unforeseen. My actions were a result of contingency programming entered on my creation. I bet they didn't tell the non-essential staff about this contingency. I saved key personnel. When the Reapers retreated, the top researchers were still alive. My actions are the only reason any hope remains. When the researchers woke, they realized the Prothean species was doomed. There were only a dozen individuals left, far too few to sustain a viable population. Yet they vowed to find some way to stop the Reapers from returning. A way to break the cycle forever. And they knew the Keepers were the key. Aren't they under the influence of the Reapers? The Keepers are controlled by the Citadel. Before each invasion, a signal is sent through the station compelling the Keepers to activate the Citadel relay. After decades of feverish study, the scientists discovered a way to alter this signal. Using the conduit, they gained access to the Citadel and made the modifications. Sweet. This time, when Sovereign sent the signal to the Citadel, the Keepers ignored it. The Reapers are trapped in dark space. 
Saren can use the conduit to bypass all the Citadel's external defenses. Correct. And once inside, he can transfer control of the station to Sovereign. Sovereign will override the Citadel systems and manually open the relay. And the cycle of extinction will begin again. I'll take Sovereign down. Somehow. There's a data file in my console. Take a copy when you go. When you reach the Citadel's master control unit, upload it to the station. It will corrupt the Citadel's security protocols and give you temporary control of the station. It might give you a chance against Sovereign. Wait, where's the Citadel's master control unit? I've never heard of anything like that. Through the conduit. Follow Saren. He will lead you to your destination. Saren's got enough of a head start. Grab that data file and let's go. Shepard, are you sure? Who knows how much longer Vigil will be here? Even now the projection is weak. This might be our only chance to speak with it, our only link to the knowledge of the Protheans. It is the opportunity of a lifetime. We're in a race to save the galaxy and you want to play Q&A with a hologram? You are right. I am sorry. My personal feelings clouded my judgment. We... we should go. The one you call Saren has not reached the conduit. Not yet. There is still hope if you hurry. Do I have to grab anything here? No? Yeah? Okay. I do hate this part because, um... Yeah, I can probably talk again. Woo. Uh... <laughs> because no matter how fast I go through, I feel like... It's like I've been close to destroyed so many times when trying to run through this damn thing, and I've gotten so close on the time. And that's just oh, running straight through. Culture. Advanced technology, and the Protheans were taken in by the Reapers just as we were. They failed. We can get there in time. Their plan only fails if we do. And I've come too far to watch Saren. All right, let's do it. So it's pretty simple. Uh, I gotta run or drive as fast as you can, and uh, I say avoid everything really, or try to. It's just the scene is so damn bumpy. Goddamn Mako. Look at that. If anything, kill stuff if you have to. Otherwise, uh, drive on. Ah! Stop it! Come on. Seriously. Okay, you see, like I said, worst fucking creation ever. Oh boy. That won't end well. Sorry. Get out of that. Ugh. Drive. Please, for the love of God, just drive normal. Normal! You stupid machine. Okay, we should be good for a couple seconds. Ah! Until we have to turn at all whatsoever, then I instantly die. Would you stop it? Good god, look at this horrible mess. Oh my god. Why can't you just drive? What is so difficult about driving straight? You fucking game. Like, I might actually fail here because of this fucking thing. Can I quick save? No, it fails. Always. Why bother letting you quick save in a section that would get you killed instantly? That'd be too easy for you. I'd say just avoid them for now. Like, I might actually stop recording uh, if I am unable to uh, make this right off the bat, but we'll see. Yeah, I killed everything over here, almost. You'll see what I mean when they make a fucking timer. It's like, why would you do a timer? Yeah, this is it. Hey, let's put a timer on the game now because it's there, cool. The conduit. It's incredible. Why would you stop me? We don't have time to admire the view. We have to get through that Go. relay. And these Geth aren't going to make it easy on us. Go. 
No, instead do a black screen. Bloody hell. Seal the station. The arms aren't moving. Systems not responding. Abandon the Citadel. Evacuate the Council. Citadel control. Citadel control. Do you copy? Oh, get there. And here it is. Look at that. Why would you put a timer like that? Why? It's already hard enough to drive this bloody thing. But no, let's make it even harder by saying, oh, you have a certain amount of time to drive straight. Ugh. Why uh, do you get flipped on your... I don't even know anymore. Drive through the damn thing, would you? Okay. Whew. So I'm making another decision that I have never made. Once we can, anyway. Pickle, pickle, pickle years detected across all monitored systems. Please begin emergency evacuation. Out. Let's kick some ass. Take some names or something. Critical failures detected across all monitored systems. Please begin emergency evacuation. Here we go. This Open. Is not a drill. Clear. All right. I'd say. I don't know. Five more minutes, maybe. A lot of cutscenes, though, people. Inside the arms. This doesn't look creepy at all. If you don't mind game, I'd like to get back to shooting. Fantastic. Alright. 
should be a very quick portion. For about a second or so, annoying Let's as hell. They're all dead. <laughs> oh man, I'm sorry. So much fun. Truly. I'm not really sure where I'm supposed to go right now. Which way? That's the last of them. Sometimes the game really isn't all that clear, especially on this stupid space mission here. I do love the death in space, though it's hilarious looking. Oh, okay. Running through that will kill you. I'll return once I get back to here. There we go. Back again. Sorry. I didn't think the ship would kill me like that, so yeah. Oh well. Now we know. I guess it's, uh, if anything, it's to stop you from, uh, from doing that, most likely. Am I supposed to be firing stuff at it, or what? I don't know. I assume so? I can't really shoot it? Oh, we are supposed to. Okay then, my bad. Don't know what the hell they wanted me to do at first, so. They we're making it very clear. Oh, well, I can only do that one then, okay. Fantastic. Guess we'll just wait. And there we go. Again, uh, I didn't want to waste too much time with just watching a ship. So, off we go. Try my best not to waste too much time since I already wasted too much already. <sighs> yeah. Fun spot. There we go. Awesome. Awesome. Anyone else want to pop in and die real quick? Hmm? What is killing me right now? Should be an easy portion. Get up there, please. I want to be dead. Fantastic. Go. Throw it down. You're dead. She's back, which is good. Can't run anymore, which is sad. Which we're nearing the end, everybody. Yay. A little bit annoyed that, uh, 
recording this much, but whatever. Had to be done. Alright. There we go. You guys ready? Are you? It's like a good 5-10 minutes here. Very sad. So much to... So much to watch cutscene wise, it's kind of annoying. But hey, I will render these video videos out as quick as humanly possible, for me anyway. Now I'll have these videos ready to go and upload and I'll be done. Alright, let's do it! I was afraid you wouldn't make it in time, Shepard. Had to wipe out a few hundred of your followers along the way. Sorry if I kept you waiting. You've lost. You know that, don't Easy you? Easily shoot me in the head. In a few minutes, Sovereign will have full control of all the Citadel systems. The relay will open. The Reapers will return. I'm heading to that master control panel and you can't stop me. You survived our encounter on Vermeer, but I've changed since then. Improved. Sovereign has upgraded me. <laughs> Fancy hardware's not gonna save you. You don't understand, Shepard. There is a place for organics in the New Order. The Reapers need men and women of action. People like us. Sovereign recognizes your value. You've impressed it. Surrender to the Reapers, and you will be spared. Join us. And we can find a place for you. No more stalling, Saren. Let's finish this. You should have joined Sovereign when you had the chance. That was quick. <laughs> Should have joined the tower. <coughs> Joking. Yep, down you go. First time I've ever done that, though. Damn. I usually convince him to shoot himself. Go me. Vigil's data file worked. I've got control of all systems. Quick! Open the station's arms! Maybe the fleet can take Sovereign down before he regains control of the station! Why are you yelling? See if you can open a communications channel. The Destiny Ascension! Main drives offline! Kinetic barriers down 40%! The Council is on board! I repeat, the Council is on board! Normandy to the Citadel! Normandy to the Citadel! Please tell me that's you, Commander! You were expecting someone else? We caught that distress call, Commander. I'm sitting here in the Endura sector with the entire Arcturus fleet. We can save the Ascension. Just unlock the relays around the Citadel and we'll send the cavalry in. You can't sacrifice human lives to save the Council. What have they ever done for us? I know. This is bigger than humanity. Sovereign is a threat to every organic species in the galaxy. Exactly. We can't throw away reinforcements trying to save the Council. We have to hold them back until Sovereign's exposed. What's the order, Commander? Come in now to save the Ascension, or hold back? I... I want to kill them, but I have to save them. I have to try it. Opening the relays now, Joker. We need to save the Ascension, no matter what the cost. I hope you know what you're doing, Commander. I don't. I'm stupid. Uh, I... Alliance ships, move in. Save the Destiny Ascension. I hate doing this. Commander, we're picking up reinforcements. It's the Alliance. Thank the Goddess.
Destiny Ascension, you are all clear. Repeat, you are all clear. The Citadel's opening. All ships move in. Concentrate on Sovereign. You know, the Reaper that we warned you about. Idiots. Alright. Make sure he's dead. Should be a long time ago. Here I'm nearing the end though, and I'll be able to spend the day rendering these two videos. <laughs> he's dead. That? You said he was dead, right? Oh, no, it's not. You look stupid. I am sovereign, and the unsteady stem is oh. mine. Uh oh. Oh, there we go. You're dead. <laughs> or at the very least, the portion of his health is gone. Oh no! Sovereign's too strong! We have to pull back! Negative. This is our only chance. Take that monster down no matter what the cost. <laughs> so nice when I don't have to worry about a 20 minute fight. Captain Anderson, we found them. They're in here. Take it easy. It's over. You're safe now. Where's the commander?
Try bitch is still alive. Ambassador, Captain, Commander Shepard. We have gathered here to recognize the enormous contributions of the Alliance forces in the war against Sovereign and the Geth. Many humans lost their lives in the battle to save the Citadel. Brave and courageous soldiers who willingly gave their lives so that we, the Council, might live. There is no greater sacrifice, and we share your grief over the tragic loss of so many noble men and women. The Council also owes you a great personal debt, Commander, one we can never repay. By defeating Sovereign, you have saved billions of lives. Yep. You have the courage of your convictions and a ruthless determination to succeed. Through your actions, you have become a symbol of everything humanity represents. Your species has an indomitable will, a fierce, savage spirit that will not bend or yield. We used to believe this made humans stubborn, even dangerous. It does. But now we understand that these traits are what make you strong. There are dark times ahead. The Council needs humanity and its strength. As the Alliance Ambassador, I accept your offer. Humanity will join its strength to yours. We will take our seat on the Council. We will need a list of potential candidates. Given all that has happened, I am sure your recommendation will carry a great deal of weight, Commander. Do you support any particular candidate? Mm. Udina, easily. I want a true advocate for humanity on the Council. Someone who will protect the interests of our species no matter what. I want Udina. The Ambassador is the obvious choice. There are hard times ahead. He is a man capable of doing what needs to be done. The battle with Sovereign destroyed our illusions of peace and security. Now the galaxy will look to us, the Council, to defend them. Sovereign alone nearly wiped you out. You won't stand a chance if the whole Reaper fleet shows up. Not unless I find some way to stop them. <laughs> Shepard's right. We're on the verge of war with an enemy unlike any the galaxy has ever known. A war for the very survival of all life as we know it. Humanity is ready to do its part. We will not back down. We will not surrender. We will lead you into battle against the Reapers, and we will drive them back into dark space. <laughs> A little bit of blue showing there, I don't like it. There you guys go. There is the rebooted Let's Play of Mass Effect 1. Play as a female soldier, and a bitch you wanted that. Um, I don't want to spend too much time here because I've already spent a good hour on this video, and I have a lot to render. But uh, thanks for guys for watching, truly, and to the people who suggested it as uh, to the people who gave me ideas for what to do. I both thank you and hate you. Killing Rex was a very hard thing to do. Saving the council, eh, whatever. Um, but killing Rex is just painful. Hopefully it uh, ends well, though. Sadly, I will not be doing Mass Effect 2 right off the bat. I have another game in mind. So I hope you guys will continue to watch my videos. Stay tuned on this channel. Subscribe if you wish. And I'll see you guys in the very, very near future. As for these credits, screw the credits, this video has gone on long enough. See you soon, guys.